Hey guys, what's going on? MK097 here coming at you with some of that Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox 360. Today I'm playing with the K7 on Whiteout, and we are going to be seeing some nice gameplay with with the uh, K7, which is obvious, as you all know, that I stutter. And the K7, as you know, is a suppressed weapon internally. And uh, yeah, so it's already suppressed, and I think I'm running grip and extended mags on it. So we're gonna see how I do. This is probably one of the my. It's one of my favorite guns to you know just play around with. It's a really good gun. Uh, low recoil, kind of just straight up recoil. So it's really easy to control. Um, it's good at long range, close range. Better at long range and close range, I think, as um, when compared to the other other SMGs, because SMGs are usually think about the short range but I think the K7 it has a slow rate of fire so it just takes a little bit longer to kill so you need a little more patience to uh, pull it off and I recorded this game a long time ago I forgot all about it um, I titled it the struggle previously like right after I recorded it, I was like ha, I'm gonna record that game and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna title that the struggle because this game perfectly portrays the matchmaking in Call of Duty Ghost shows that well, it's, all, it's been in a lot of Call of Duties, most Call of Duties actually, that usually, when, right now there's some lag, but usually whenever you're playing a Call of Duty game, for some reason, the way matchmaking is set up, you tend to get teamed up with bad players. Um, the bad players won't usually, won't, don't really, won't, probably won't notice this, but I think the higher your KD, well, I'm almost 99% sure, that the higher your KD means that you're going to be mash people of a KD that's going to be at a better set average for the game. So say if you have a 1.6 KD and the like average KD is a positive KD, so 1. So if you're 1.6, you're going to have to have somebody on your team that has a point something. So if you're in a lobby with the guys and you have a couple people that have like a 1.9, 1 1 let's say like 3 people with 1.9s, um, you're in there, so that's 4 people, like 1.6. Um, you have someone in your like with your party who is with you, and then you have the other people on in the game who have like a there's like point eight, so we got a one point two here, uh, point seven, point six. So you have these just numbers, and so what's gonna happen is here I check to see if the care package is gonna be safely dropped in front of me. Um, so it's gonna average in, and whatever the best average for the gameplay that it thinks is going to be is what it's going to do but it had you think about it it's going to be doing this at like a very random ish kind of way so it does it really fast and really quick so it's not going to be the best result so that's why sometimes you get into a game where everyone on your team is going negative and you're the only one going positive or everyone on your team is doing really bad and then you're doing good and so it's uh yeah so that's why you get bad teams sometimes. And uh, I get bad teams a lot. And this game is one of those games where I get bad teams. And uh, turns out we do good. We still lose the game. But I think I end up going like 30 and something. Um, it's probably the better game Call of Duty Ghost back when it, not when it first came out, but it was about a month ago. And I just forgot to uh, record over it and upload it. Look at this lag. Look at that swag. Yeah, so... This is a really good map. Um, ever since the new DLC came out and they mixed in the old DLC with the new with the uh, old maps, now that now the whole the the uh, cycle of gameplay is low. Like I never see this map in the map in the uh, uh, options anymore. See all the ignition, uh, overrun, you know, all those other maps, and. Uh, so this map's pretty. It's a pretty good map. Like you can go flank, you can not flank. You can go for. You can just do whatever you want on this map, and you're gonna do good. Cause it has short range, long range, mid middle range, and a lot of camping places to flank them and then get them in the in the booty. And uh, yeah, right here, I I guess I'm camping, doing something. Probably probably texting somebody. I'm not really expecting anybody to come in here. So uh, yeah, while we waiting, we should actually chat scoreboard a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I think we're trying to get. I don't know, special bonus? Not really much for me to get here. I think I just want to live. I think I'm maybe going for, I don't know. Probably going for Kim Strike, who knows? Yeah. Ah, oh, there I die. 
All that waiting just to get sniped as soon as I pop out of the window. Yeah. So right now I'm doing pretty good. Um, team, <coughs> not doing so good. We're what is it, 37:51 right there? Yeah. So, yeah. So it's just a struggle, trying to do good. Ooh, with the tree shot. Mm. You see, you got the long range right there, and it's just good with recoil and good with everything. Oh, that dog is not gonna kill me. Oh, not today. Please camp. Oh, why? I need to be playing on an MLG team. Uh, optic phase. Uh. My name is LZXM Kaiser 97. Just me a message. I'll uh, I'll reply, and uh, you can just guys can just recruit me right off the bat. Oh, get the MSBS. Oh, where do you go? There's a guy up there. He's done. There's a guy somewhere else around here. Oh, oh, can he get? Can he? And he got him. MSBS is too good to be in a Call of Duty game. Yeah, let's make a game that's one burst kill. Hello, Type 95, pre-patch, I think. Or M16 post patch, Modern Warfare 3. Um, really excited about the new Call of Duty that's gonna come out in September. The trailer looks good. Uh, we'll get the multiplayer multiplayer release here in about um, two months, I think. Whenever September comes, probably when the multiplayer release will be released. Multiplayer, yeah, that works. Um, <coughs> I just trying to win here. Um, yeah. So the matchmaking isn't really that good. I've talked to Activision about this, and they said something. They asked me like what I meant, and then I explained to them, and they never got back to me. And they're usually good about getting back, so I don't know what happened. Maybe it's an overused topic, or they're avoiding the situation because they know that matchmaking and spawn systems, and uh, connectivity, and no bars for connection, and the, the hosted servers that don't exist, and then you know what it is. Lies, we're being told. Lies. But it's whatever, though. Um, Sledgehammer Games producing the new Call of Duty. It's probably going to be very exciting. Um, they're only doing the next gen, though, which is strange. But it'll, it'll kind of see the difference between developers as a, a different developer makes the uh, 360 and PS3 versions. And Sledgehammer does the, uh, the uh, next generation versions. Next generation versions on the uh, Xbox One and PS4, as you know, as you know. Yeah. So look at these guys. Man, you think they'd like get up when you shoot at them four times cross map? Right? I don't get two kills. I do get two kills. <laughs> yeah. Um. Really, uh, considering like trying to get on some like pro teams, we kind of have like a little like thing set up where like we uh, like little 4v4s or whatnot with the uh, e game rules, but I don't know. I don't know how that's exactly gonna work. Here we go, we lost by 13 or 13. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And as you should guys do is have a good day, have a good night, you know what, better yet, have a great life. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, please have a great night, see you later, and check us out for more KIAs uh, and more Thingamaboppers that have videos in them. See you guys later, peace out.